we are with Richard Sanchez, the new head coach at Cardinal Newman High School for the football program here. First of all, welcome to Santa Rosa and welcome to Cardinal Newman, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Uh, nice process here involved in, in getting you in here, and I know everybody is really excited to have someone with your experience. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you've been doing the last couple of years. Uh, well, formerly at Southeastern University, I was a quarterback coach, offensive coordinator, and assistant head coach. Uh, before that, I was a defensive back coach, special teams coordinator at San Diego State University. Uh, and then I spent nine years at the high school level at All Boys Catholic School in San Diego, San Augustine High School. So being at a Catholic school and a, and a private program and a, a very storied football program is nothing new to you. What attracted you to this particular school in this particular area? Well, it's about that time in my career. You know, you got to put family first. And uh, my daughter resides here in San Francisco. And uh, she's married now and planning on having children soon. So I uh, did not want to be a grandfather, you know, over 2,000 miles away. So when this opportunity came up, I just expressed my interest in it. And um, my wife's on board, so we're here. You had some great success at St. Augustine. Tell us a little bit about that program, what you bring to the table in terms of uh, your philosophy, how you deal with the kids and the community, and why you were able to be successful in that environment. Well, it starts at the top with our administration. You know, everywhere we've been, I've had good principals and, and presidents. So it starts there giving you the power and, and responsibility and trusting in your work. Uh, obviously, the kids are awesome at private schools. Um, the hard work and dedicated and loyal young men. Uh, but it starts with relationships. So everywhere I've been, you, you have to develop that relationship with young men to get the best out of them. So if you had to put one thing on why you're successful, sure, it takes talent, but it also takes the, the opportunity to develop that talent. So, and you develop that talent through positive relationships. I understand we have a common connection. Thomas Beecher, the former principal here, was actually involved with the diocese down there. So kind of a small world connection, that's neat. Yes, yes, well, I reached out to Tom. I obviously knew his connection here told me nothing but great things about the program, the community, and the alumni. Uh, so obviously uh, with, with that and knowing the character he has, uh, obviously it incited my interest. Obviously some big shoes to fill here. Um, how do you approach that, that whole thing with the community, the expectations? This has been a, a winning program for a long, long time, going back to the 70s. Yeah, I thought long, long and hard about it. Obviously I have to be who I am, and that's the only person I can be. Uh, I have to be sensitive to the environment that I'm stepping into, but at the same time, the, the, the time is a factor when you're starting so late in the program. So I'll be sensitive, but we're going to be direct and move the program as, as fast as we can. And you are starting a little bit late with this, but uh, what's your plan? How do you come in? How do you uh, get things going, even though you're a few weeks behind some of the other programs that have been uh, lifting and, and working out a little bit? Right. We're in the middle of putting together a staff. Uh, I'm starting to get to know some of the kids that they're here working out and training on the field. Uh, so it's going to be tough to develop those relationships, but putting the staff together and then obviously uh, teaching the, the coaches what we're doing schematically uh, so they can get out there and teach the kids. What can we expect from a Richard Sanchez coach football team? Wow. Well, we're going to be very physical, uh, both mentally and physically. Uh, we're going to be exciting on offense and obviously very fast on defense. I uh, can't tell you anything more than that. You know, hold the surprise for later. Uh, but you'll see a bunch of kids that play hard from start to finish. Uh, and then we're going to get after football. You've been in the Southern California environment, big school programs down there. Uh, the North Coast section has, of course, De La Salle and Monta Vista, San Ramon Valley, some, some big time schools in this area as well. Um, we're looking forward to that level of competition and some of the rivalries built in here in Sonoma County as well, Rancho Catati, et cetera. Those are all names I've heard plenty about. Obviously, we're going to focus on us first. Uh, we have a long way to go before we think about that kind of competition. Uh, but I'm going to enjoy the process, and I'm going to teach our, our coaches and our players that we're going to focus more on the process than the results. And if it happens to be that we play one of those powerhouse teams, uh, hopefully we'll be ready and, and have good confidence that our players will accept the challenge. And what would you like to say to the community in particular, the alumni and the fans that have followed this program over the years and, and are hoping that uh, the, the, the level of success can continue? Well, I would say this, uh, I appreciate all of them that were here and welcomed me with open arms. Um, and obviously I, I would appreciate some patience because it's going to take a while to build our program the way that I see that it should be built. Um, but I appreciate everything that's happened up in the last few days. Uh, and I feel really welcomed here and I feel I have a great staff working together now. Uh, and uh, the kids are amazing. So patience would be number one. 
You've gone from the high school level to the college level, and now back to the high school level. What in particular attracts you to uh, high school football? Uh, I, th I think it's the impact you have on young men. I mean, that's why we all coach. Uh, leaving two college a couple of different times has gave me the opportunity to build and grow and develop some different philosophies and belief systems. Uh, but I always was attracted because of the relationships and the impact you have on young men. So going back to high school, formulating my own staff again, and developing the trust and loyalty you have with coaches. I mean, it's important to me, and it's somewhere that I want to uh, retire at. Coach, welcome to Santa Rosa, and good luck at Cardinal Newman High School, and uh, we wish you nothing but success. Thank you so much.